Hi, my name is Garrett AJ, and this is my process video on how I built this rat rod mechanic character. But before I get into that, I wanted to quickly do a tutorial on building volume in a 2D space. Now, before I build volume, I like a good platform to build it on. Um, and for this, I like to use the silhouette method. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So I've got these two circles here. One of them is opaque, and the other one is translucent. Uh, but it's hard to tell because uh, they look exactly like they're the same value. But one of them is supported by the background layer. But if I change the background, all of a sudden it becomes pretty obvious which one is opaque and which one is translucent. If you're painting stuff based on the background layer uh, and you need to make a change to your, uh, to your image, all of a sudden all that wonderful shading and coloring that you did changes along with your background. That's why you need to build an opaque background for your uh, for each layer and build your colors and shading off of that. Now when I'm talking about building volume really what I'm talking about is um, uh, an idea of thinking uh, when you're drawing. I don't like to think that I'm drawing in 2D. In fact I like to think about drawing in 3D because that's what you're really doing. You're just slowly printing a, a 3D image on a 2D medium if you understand drawing in 3D, then you might also understand uh, wireframes. If I wanted to build a box, then it's pretty easy for me to, to build a box in, in any direction um, because I understand the, the 3D structure of the box. But I'm not going to talk about that today. What I want to talk about today is uh, topography. So. If you haven't heard of the word topography, I'm sure you've seen or heard of a topographical map. Uh, what I'm actually talking about, what I, the way I like to think, is topographical. Topographical. Look it up. Um, what it really is is about uh, understanding uh, layers of, of height in the object. And that's what I'm talking about in volume. Uh, let me demonstrate right here. I've got a circle here. I'm sure you guys have seen something similar to this. We've all seen circles. But uh, the light in the circle layer is up here. The way I think topographically is I think that the light is the highest level in the, uh, in the file. And um, as the circle gets closer to the light, it gets brighter. Now, I'm sure you've heard about the painter saying that you need to uh, think about painting in shapes. This is exactly what I'm uh, what they're talking about. Because you're not painting uh, a circle, really. You're just painting a bunch of flat circles on top of each other, and they equal a 3D thing. Oh, don't forget that back that reflect light. All right, so then what happens when you put all that stuff together? You, well, you can blend it then, and you get this nice little... Uh, 3D object here. See, so you topographically uh, establish the height of the object, and then you you blend using those uh, those layers. And if you mix this with your understanding of uh, face planes, uh, which I'm not going to cover, but you should definitely look up if you don't understand this, then it's pretty easy to uh, understand where the highlight shadows and core shadows should go. So uh, let me show you how this works while I build this character.
Baby girl, baby boy, cause 